In this video, we'll make an interactive Power BI dashboard like this, where you can ask it any questions, like what's our best setting state. We can expand on certain visuals, like this one down over here. We can also change our dates using the timeline and much, much more. So let's get into it. For this dashboard, let's suppose that we work for Coca-Cola and we've been given this data set over here, which you can download for free in the video description. So right now it's in Excel and we're gonna need to import it into Power BI. But first, let's take a look at what it is. You can see that it's basically all of the retailers that we sell to from Coca-Cola with the regions as well as some financial information over here. Awesome, let's now switch to Power BI and import this data set. Over here, you can see that we have a brand new Power BI file, and I'm just gonna go over to import data from Excel and select the file. In my case, it's right over here. Obviously, in your case, it could be somewhere else. Once it loads up, we wanna select the relevant sheet. In this case, it's a data one. And over here under preview, you're gonna be able to see it. You can either load it, meaning you can import it into Power BI, or transform it using this tool called Power Query. This is basically in case you wanna make some changes to the data. For now, we'll hit on load. And great, now if we hover over to the data view, you'll be able to see that we have all of the data imported in here. So let's go back to the report view, which is this top one right here, and get started with the different visuals. So first, let's work on the overall structure. So it's gonna be the header, one up over here, and then two smaller ones down below. For that, we'll just go over to insert, and we'll insert a shape like a rectangle. This first one over here works for us. And let me just stretch this one out. Now, let me just collapse this filter. And for the colors, we wanna change the style here. And let me go for a darker color. I'm just gonna go over to more colors. From here, let me just put one that I like, which is 073673, and just hit enter there. That's gonna give us a dark blue. We also wanna add a shadow, so we'll activate that down below. And we're also gonna add some text. And within the text, this is basically our title, Coca-Cola Sales Dashboard. And let's change the size here to something like a 30 and make it bold as well. If we scroll a bit lower down, we're gonna be able to change the padding. So let's suppose we want it on the left-hand side, so over here and we wanna increase that padding as right now it's just too tight to the side. So we'll put something like a 15 here, and there you go. Finally, right now we have a border which we don't want, so let's just deselect that. And great, that's our first header, and from here we can simply copy it by hitting Control C and Control V, and then we just wanna resize it somewhere down over here. So let me fast forward how I do that. Awesome, so we now have all of the headers that we'll need, I will change the text of these two over here later on. Now moving on to the visuals, and our manager was saying that the dashboard should be interactive. For this, maybe a good feature to add would be a Q&A section up over here using Power BI's AI feature. So we'll click on this button right here, which is called Q&A under visualizations. Let's click on that. That's gonna create this search bar over here. So let me just resize it. Awesome. Now using this, we can pretty much ask it any question. Let's say the number of regions. Hit enter there and we've got five regions. Similarly, we can go the number of states. Hit enter and we have the number of states that we're offering. So it's really quite a handy tool for somebody that's new to this data set. To reformat it a bit, let's go ahead and change these colors of the suggestions to something like an orange to make it more colorful. We can do that by clicking on the visual, heading over to format your visual. And then under suggestions, we're gonna wanna change the card color. Scroll down here, and let's change it to something like an orange. Under more colors, I'm going to go for something like FF8A00. Hit enter, that's gonna be the orange that we'll stick with. Awesome, so that's the first visual. And then right below that, our manager had told us that we're having some issues with our operating profit. And he wants us to try to find a way to improve it and try to visualize it. So for this, it could make sense to use the key influencers visual, which is this one right over here. You can find it up top under AI visuals or also over here to the side. So let's click on it and then I'm just gonna resize it. Great, so you'll find that we have a few different options 
And what we want to analyze is the operating profit. Now to do that, it's going to be under our data. So let's click inside of it and we want to find the operating profit and we'll simply just drag and drop it in there. There we go. And then we want to explain that, let's say by the beverages, maybe some be beverages are generally better for our profit margins. So let's click on operating beverages and drag it over. So you can see that then we're going to start to see the visual and it says what influences operating profit to increase or decrease. Let's say we want with the increase. So it says here that when the beverage brand is Coca-Cola, the average of operating profit increases by this amount. We can further click inside of it. We're going to get a breakdown. If we can't see it too well, we can always go up over here under focus mode, which is going to expand it for us. And we can see which beverage brands seem to be better for our profit. That's the idea with this key influencers, which really allows you to take a closer look at the data. Let's go to back to the report. And if you're liking this tutorial and you want to learn more, you can consider checking out our Power BI for Business Analytics course. In our all-inclusive curriculum, we start with data cleaning and transformation using Power Query. Then we get into data visualization tools, followed by DAX or data analysis expressions, which is what you would use to build formulas inside Power BI. Then to simulate real work scenarios, we'll practice using two extensive case studies. One will focus on building a profit and loss dashboard from scratch on Nike, while the other will focus on visualizing McDonald's European restaurant operations. Currently, 97% of Fortune 500 companies use Power BI. So if you're looking to invest in yourself, you can check out the link in the description below. All right, back to the dashboard. Next up here, our manager is asking to see the sales by state. For this, it probably makes the most sense to use some kind of a map chart. So let's take a look over here. And our plan is to put it down towards the side. So for that, we'll go over for this one, click on map. And then let's just move it along. And in here, we want to add all of the states. So it's this one right over here. Just tick on that. It's going to automatically fill under location. If not, you can always drag and drop it. And similarly, we want to have the total sales. So this one right here, just stick on that as well. And you can see that right now, these bubbles are supposed to be the sales amounts. If we hover over them, you can see that in further detail, but they're quite small. So let's reformat some of this. We'll head over to format your visual. Then under bubbles, we're gonna go with a something like a size 15. So they're a lot bigger, as you can see there. Similarly, under map settings, would be nice to be able to zoom in and out, which we can't quite do right now. So we'll go under controls and just activate the zoom buttons. So with that, you can see that we have this plus and minus sign so we can zoom in or out if we want to. Finally, let's remove this title as we'll have one right above. So we'll head over to general and then deactivate that title there. Great, let's now work on these two titles. So this first one is going to be just the sales by, by state. So we'll go over to shape under style. It's going to be the text right over here. And again, it's going to be the sales by state, or we can call it by US state. And then right here, this is going to be the operating profit analysis. So we'll go over here, change it. Great. Now that's more like it. Next up on our dashboard, our manager is asking to see more of the financials. So maybe some kind of a breakdown for that. It could make sense to use a matrix, which is going to allow us to fill in a lot of information. So it's going to be this one right over here. Let's just click on that. This is going to be right up here. So then we have the rows, the columns and the values. So we're going to do an analysis, a breakdown by beverage brand and all of the financials for them. So let's take on beverage brand first. From here, we want to take on all of the relevant financials for us. So it's going to be the total sales. Similarly, the unit sold. We've also got the price per unit, the operating profit and the operating margin. Now we need to keep in mind that some of these are actually percentages or averages. 
So the sum of price per unit doesn't make sense. We want to get the average price per unit. So under price per unit here, we can just click on that drop down and we can change that from a sum to an average. Same thing goes over with the uh, operating margin. So we can go over and select average. And then we don't need the sum of in front of every of these or the average of. So we can just double click on them like this one here. And then we can just delete the, to the sum of part. So we only have total sales. Let me fast forward how I do the rest. Awesome. Now that's looking a good bit cleaner, but let's suppose we want to get rid of some of these decimals. To do that, we can head over to format your visual and then towards the bottom, you'll find specific column. So that's the one we want to select. And then you can see that we can specify which column. So for total sales, we want it to have zero decimals. So down over here, put a zero, enter. Same thing with operating profit. So let's change that from total sales to operating profit and put zero decimals there and hit enter. Finally, let's suppose that we want to highlight the total sales a bit more so we can see the overall trend. We can first expand on that kind of like so. And from there, we can do something like adding a conditional formatting. So for that, we can simply select the visual, then under total sales, go to the drop down and head over to conditional formatting. And within it, we can do something like adding data bars. And then let's suppose that to match it with this orange, we'll go for the same orange under the positive bar. So more colors. Let me change that to FF8800. And so whenever it's a positive bar, obviously all sales are positive. It's going to be in orange. So we'll hit on OK. And you can see what that's looking like. To further filter this, we can just click on this drop down. We can make it go from top to bottom like that. Great. So we think this dashboard is done, but our manager is asking us to create some kind of a filter by date as well. So for that, we can click on the slicer, which is going to be this button right here. Just click on that. And specifically, we want a date slicer. So under field here, we're going to add the invoice date. So let's just take on that one. And you can see what those dates kind of look like. Then we can just hover along and put it right over here. Now to make it look a bit nicer, we can remove the background. So we'll go over to format your visual. Then under general, under effects, we're going to go for no background, but we need to change the color of these. So we're going to go over to visual under values and then scroll towards values in there. And we're going to change this to a white so we can see those dates a bit better. And great. Now, when we filter this, you can see that all of our data is going to automatically update there. Awesome. That's our Power BI dashboard. So let's send it to our manager. All right, let me check the results. It's actually all looking good. Very impressive stuff. And to learn more about Power BI visuals, check out this video over here or take our Power BI course over here. Hit that like and that subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.